I'm sure what your husband would have wanted you to take his army souvenirs to the charity shop. It is not a betrayal at all. He was a very generous man, Mrs. Franklin. He would have wanted other people to enjoy them. Now I'm going to give you something for your insomnia. Thank you. And something to calm your nerves. I can't believe it's actually you. Give me a hug. Uh, what's happened to you? Is? I was just a bit wasted, that's all. <laughs> you never. There's me thinking tequila and heels don't mix and the sudden pavement jumps up and smashes me in the face. A nerve? I know, totally unprovoked. What are you like? Not as bad as you. Or have you gone all sensible now that you're a nurse? It's good to see you. How long you been out? A few months. How was it? A barrel of laughs. What do you think? That bad? I don't really want to talk about it. We're really worried about you. Hey, look, it's over. I'm out. I heard the social took Sierra off your mum. Yeah. And you had to look after her. For a bit. Didn't really work out. Why? Because I was useless at it. I bet you weren't. I really was. You know what we both need? A proper night out. <laughs> With you? I don't think my liver could hack it. Oh, come on. It's Monday. What, are you 50? I've got a monster hangover and it's not stopping me. I can't anyway, I'm broke. I'll pay. Come on, we'll pour out our troubles, get legless, pass out in a bush shelter. What's not to like? Can I think about it? Over lunch, come on, I'm starving. I've got patience. Tell them I'm dying and you've got to take me to hospital. <laughs> Give me half an hour, I'll meet you at the calf, but it has to be a quick lunch. A quick liquid lunch? Stop it. I'm not drinking. So, any problem, just give me a ring. Uh, hello. I am sorry to bother you, Mr. Bigelow. I'm sure you are very busy. <sighs> Always busy, Mrs. Tembe. Yes. Uh, well, uh, because of the uh, fire uh, and everything else, uh, Mr. Bellamy wants to review our security system. I was just wondering if you could recommend... Uh, oh, I've oh, got rather a lot on at the moment. Well, yeah, I am sure. I would just want you to ask. If the mill needs a major upgrade. A what? Security waits for no man, Mrs. Tembe. I'll be right round. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, I think you misunderstood me, Mr. Bigelow. Mr. Bigelow! You didn't wake me up. Why do you always have to know where I'm going? My money. It's my money. And all the pills. I had to. I was in pain. Look, you need to get me more money. Okay. Get the beef fleet alone. Ish. You sure they're going to let us in after last time? They didn't actually say I was barred. After you threw up all over the till. I'd had a rough night. I'm surprised you even remembered. <laughs> I've missed you. Sweet. I'm serious. Why? Because you didn't have anyone to keep an eye on you. Oh, was that what you were doing? Someone had to. I have no idea what you ever saw in that plank. I was 14. He was a big gangster. Yeah, right. That's what he thought. Well, lucky for you, I was around. No, if you weren't, I might have ended up. You had too much sense. I haven't smoked weed since then. What? You don't do anything? No, it kind of put me off. Wish I could say the same. Where have you been? At my parents. I thought they were away. They're back now. I, I tried calling her a couple of times. I know. Sorry. Are you home now? No, um... At the Icon. 
The icon. Can you meet me? I don't really know. Come on. It's true. I was off my face a lot. And what? Everything. Smack, coat, crack. Half the time I didn't even know. Are you serious? It's not something I'm proud of. Is it? You were busted for dealing. You don't know what it was like in there. Getting high was the only way I could cope. You clean now? Not really. Come on. It's better than it was. She does prescription stuff now and again. Take the edge off. Right, I'm gonna find you a program. I've been tried rehab. And? It didn't work. That was in the neck. I'm gonna find you a really good. No. Two penny in here, ladies. Thank you. Cheers. You can't mess around with this. Izzy, it's serious. I can handle it. I just have to. I'll find a way. I haven't got anything. Are you deaf? Hey, I missed you. It's only been two days. How have you got your parents? Not good. They think I'm mad. Did you tell them about me? That wasn't so good either. Well, maybe we should go and see them. What? Yeah, we go next weekend. Jimmy. What if they get to know me? <laughs> I'm not ready for that, neither are they. Why not? Because I had to tell them things, things I shouldn't have had to tell them. Yeah. What? Like I've been married twice before. And didn't even bother to tell me. Yeah, well, I was going to. Oh, right, when? I don't know. You've had two failed marriages, and I had to find out in front of all of your friends. I mean, who does that, Jimmy? It's not normal. Yeah, OK. Oh, uh, could we have a minute, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. What else have you told me? Ah, Mrs Tenby? When I'm done, I'll give Mr Bellamy a full comprehensive report on the Mill Security Shield. Well, perhaps we should get a proper firm to give us... cracks, I spot. I can put them right straight away. Instant well, peace of mind. Wouldn't it be better if... We've got everything we need. Motion alarms, perimeter sensors... Well, how much did you pay for all this? <laughs> well, you can't put a price on security, Mrs Tembe. That's what I think Mr Bellamy could. Thank you. Thanks, love. Thanks. Why are you so broke? But everyone says you're doing really well. I wish. I thought this was what you really wanted. It was. And I like it, I think. But ever since this mess with Sierra, if I can't look after my own little sister... Kids are hard-ish. And everyone says that. Mother's come to me for advice. What am I supposed to tell them? I don't know. Neither do I. Oh, come on. I'm sure you're a great nurse. You just need to find a way to get, you know, more out of it. How? I don't know. Decent money would be a start. Hmm. As a nurse, that's not going to happen. OK. So why don't we go into business together? Ish and is ink. <laughs> what would we do? Don't know. Sell dirty knickers to businessmen. Oh. Seriously, they do it in Japan. I read about it. That is so gross. They make a fortune. I am not doing that. OK, whatever. We'll just get legless and come up with summer. Always worked before. So how come you're so flush? You're OK. If you can call it a job. I stick leaflets through people's doors. That pays? Not really. So where's the money come from? I'm kind of involved in something. What? It's nothing serious. You're not dealing again, are you? I got caught up with some people and things just kind of happened. Izzy, you can't do this. You think I want to? I've been to prison, Ish. No one are going to give me a decent job. What is it? It's nothing. 
Who's here? It's just something I have to deal with. Do you want me to come with you? No. I'll call you. Look, there are no more secrets, I promise. How do I know? Because I'm telling you. I really want to trust you, Jimmy, but we're only having this conversation because I accidentally found out about your ex-wives. I would have told you. But you didn't. In my heart, I trust you, Jimmy, but my head... Yeah, they say follow your heart. This isn't funny. Sorry. I've been thinking about it all weekend. Oh, I wish you'd call. I wish you hadn't lied to me. I didn't lie. You didn't tell me it's the same thing. I went to see Phil yesterday. Why? I had to sort things out. He thinks I'm having a midlife crisis. That's ridiculous. So he's not going to sell the house in case I get over it. Well, he can't because anyway, half of it's yours. It's okay. I mean, he's agreed to pay my half of the mortgage now. So <clears throat> I can now afford to rent somewhere else. What's wrong with my place? I need some space. Are we breaking up? Is that what's going on? No. But then, why? Because everything's gone too fast, Jimmy. I need some time to figure out how I feel. You said you felt certain about us, and so do I. Is that how you felt about your marriages? But this is different. The relationships take a lot of hard work, I know that. I'm ready to put the hard work in for us. Hard work? Is that how you see me? No! I want you to find out if Emma can rent me a room. Why? Because that's what I want. Why are we even having this conversation? Didn't you get my text? Who was that girl? A friend. That's all? No, she was my secret lover. Idiot. <laughs> Ow! We need to sort this out. What do you think I'm doing? This is so ridiculous. What? All this nonsense about decriminalising drugs. Think it's a bad idea? I think it's a lot more complicated than these people are making out. It's a disaster waiting to happen. So you think we should just bang up anyone who's ever taken drugs? What? Do you have any idea what prison does to people? That's not what I was saying. Someone makes one mistake and you write them off like they're not even a person. Mrs. Tembe said you were just doing a survey. It's fine, take a minute. I don't need a panic alarm. What if someone threatens you in there? Who well, else is that? Just hit this button and you get 115 decibels of high frequency siren right on the threshold of pain. And what good would that do? What's that? Ah, uh, patient left it. I'm taking it from charity. Uh, don't move. Place it down very carefully. Then ease towards the door as slowly as you can. Any vibration, any noise could be fatal. You look like crap. What's happened? I lie to ya. It's not just prescription drugs. What? I'm trying to get cleanish, I really am, but it's hard. Then let me get you on a programme. I program. can't do that again. They make me feel like dirt. You just need. I know. I have to do this on my own. I just need a bit of help. That's what rehab not is. That kind of help. I need something today. Now. What? You must have loads of stuff here. Antidepressants, barbs, tranks. You want me to steal drugs for you? Prescription drugs each. That's all just to get me through. I can't do that. You're my last chance. That's why you came to see me today. Not just that. I wanted to catch up and... for drugs? No. Who's making you do this? No one. That guy? The one from outside the calf? Is he hurting no. you? No. And why are you so afraid of it? The only thing I'm afraid of is going straight. Why? Because when I'm not high, all I can think of is what happened inside, the things they did to me, and I was this close to shooting up last night. Smack. I just want to numb everything out. 
What did they do to you? If I start all that again, I don't know if I'll be able to stop. Then don't start. I won't. If you give me something to take the edge off. Don't ask me to do oh, this. The smack is dirty. She's right by my bed. I'll do it. I know I will. Uh, uh, there is a minor problem in one of the doctor's rooms. Nothing serious, but as a precaution, we are going to ask... This is a code red emergency evacuation. Mr Bigelow. We have a highly unstable explosive device in the building. No, 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 there is no cause it for... It could go off at any minute. Just leave your belongings. Barry. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Well, let's just go. On your feet, get up. I said everyone else. She needs her crutches. I am so sorry. Please. All clear. Right. Looking for Tuesday, then, yeah? Going somewhere. She needs some nip out for a sec. What about your patients? I haven't got another appointment until five. But what about drop-ins? Sorry, there's something I need to do. But Aisha, am I supposed to... Hello? Uh, uh, Dr Carmichael, uh, we have had to evacuate the mill. What? There has been a bomb scare. I tried to call Mr Bellamy, but he's not answering his phone. Oh, he's a whale watching in California. Where's Jimmy? Yeah, he has not returned from lunch. Well, can you get someone to cover me here? We were already overstretched when Mr Biglow ordered the evacuation. Biglow? What's he doing there? Okay, everyone, can you get behind the car, please? Right, everyone. Move back to the road. Well, I, I, I am sorry. I, I will have to go. It's an American Mark II 1 8 fragmentation grenade. You sure? I've never been more certain of anything in my life. I'm not sure if the pin's still in, but something fell against it. Didn't sound good. Okay. All right, right. I don't think it can be as serious as all that, do you? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, why? Could be a ploy. A ploy? It's a classic scenario. Draw in the emergency services, and then, boom. Eat! Here, I've got you as many as I could. No, not here. Put them away. You're a lifesaver, Ish. I promise I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to get clean. What's this? Well, take it. I know you need it. No. Think of it as a gift for old time's sake. And there's plenty more where that came from. I can use as many of these as I can get. This isn't just for you, is it? I have some friends who need some help too, and they can pay for it. What are you up to, is it? Nothing. You help me, I help you. No one gets hurt. What's the problem? I don't want your money. Okay, but I'm gonna need some more of these. We'll work some out. Listen, I've got to run. I'll call you. Sure. You don't know what this means to me. Oh, nice of you to join us. Why don't they just call the bomb squad? Apparently, the police need to check it out first. Still. It beats staring at Mr Alfred's hemorrhoids, which is what I would be doing, since you dumped all your patients on me. Yeah, sorry. Emergency. Mm, I'm sure it was. How is she? Um, she says I'm rushing things. Really? Do you think that's true? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. How long have you known each other? Two weeks? And you've been on how many dates? One. Uh, two, if you include the pub night. And she's already moving in? Well, I'd say that's rushing things a tad. Let's do... Tiny bit. You think I'm mad, don't you? Oh, mad, romantic. What does it matter? It's probably why she likes you. Can I ask you something? Oh, Jimmy, I am the worst person to give advice on relationships. Heather wants to rent a room from you. I know you've already got me. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Oh, no. Old Mother Reed's home for lost women. No, no, I shouldn't have asked. No, more the merrier. Really? Yeah, welcome. Oh, uh, uh, 
Oh, yeah, Dr. Teckley, thank goodness. Um, Dr. Carmichael is furious. Yeah, I, I just uh, need a quick call. Quick, quick, no, but you are the only partner. Yeah, I, I need to see you. Everything's under control, Mrs. Timby. She said it was a box of old army souvenirs. With a live grenade in it? Apparently so. Why would you keep a live grenade? Well, between you and me, uh, Major Franklin was, uh, he was not all that. Uh. What if someone planted the grenade in the box? Why would they do that? If they knew it, it'd end up in the surgery. It's ridiculous. It's exactly the sort of thing Gary Lucas would do. What? Barry! Barry! You said the grenade was in the box in Heston's room. That's right. And it's live. I think so, yes. Does it look like that? What you doing? Is this what you saw? Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. Give it to me. Give it to me. Boy! I'm not stupid, is he? I saw you give him the drugs. You made her do it, didn't you? What? How many other girls you got working for you? Did you hit them too? He didn't hit me. Are you the one who's giving her the smack? Is that how you keep your girls in line? Get out of this ish. You have gear. I should go to the police. You said you didn't have any. I lied. You know how desperate I was. If you want more, then get out there and sell some it. What am I paying you for? He's selling drugs for you. What? You just said you're paying him. Is this the business you were talking about? Oh, it's only for a bit. Everything you've told me is a lie. Not everything. I do want to get clean, but I need money. Then get a proper job. How? I didn't even finish school. Why did she go to the cops? She can't. She's just stolen pills for us. If we tell, she'll get done. Out of weight. I was afraid I'd miss you. I only came back to get my things. Where are you going? I don't know. Parents, hotel. Oh, please don't. All I wanted you to do was ask Emma if she'd rent me a room. Yeah, I know. And you couldn't even do that. I did. What? I asked her. She said it's fine. Why didn't you tell me? I had to see you. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rush things. Everything's been going so fast. It's partly my fault. I should have told you about my marriages. And I should listen more. I'd really like to keep seeing you. I really want to keep seeing you too. I'm sorry. Does this count as our first row? You used me? I didn't. If I'd have told you the truth, you wouldn't have got me anything. We're supposed to be mates. Didn't have a choice. What's happened to you, is it? There was nothing else I could do. You so nearly had me convinced. They're all empty. He says she can get us everything we need. She can. She will. No, she won't. <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. Well, you can't go. No, I, you I, need I, me. No, I've had it with you. You can't give me what I need. Wait! Tell me you'll get us something, please. No. I'm begging you, I need your help. I wasn't lying about the smack. You can't turn your back on me. You owe me. Not anymore. It's a mistake anyone could make. Yes, if you were blind. Oh, have you gone mad, Biglow? Here we go. I've had the chief inspector on the phone. I've had angry patients. I've had a woman on crutches saying that you shouted at her. I didn't know... You don't even work here. What did you think you were doing? It's bad to... enough that we have to put up with all your nonsense at the campus. But what was he doing here? I asked him to recommend a security firm. Why would you ever ask this man to recommend anything? I'm so sorry. And as for you, why on earth did you believe him? Why would a patient bring a live hand grenade into the surgery? Well, I didn't actually well, see Well, you were it. a complete waste of space, and you have cost us time, you have cost us money. You have thrown both surgeries into complete chaos, and for what? A novelty lighter. I thought it might be... No, 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 no. Don't think. That's where the problem is. If you ever had a thought worth thinking in that stupid head of yours, it would die 
of loneliness. So you should interview me first. Well, you all get a chance to have you say. But I'm the only one who knows what really happened. Oh, hi, Anthony. Sorry, it took me ages to pack up and then I got a call from the surgery. You're not. Uh, we're, we're twins. That's all I've got. Fair enough. God, all you ever wanted is my money! Testing brain power and a steady 